Kia ora from New Zealand, everyone. I'm Donna Louise, and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. I'm pre-recording this video because when it's published, I'll actually still be in Spain attending the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships. So I have a very short puzzle haul for you all today, just four puzzles, but I will end up building one of them during this video as well. I'm trying to get puzzles that are brands that are new to me that I've never done on the channel before or, or never actually done ever. So the first one is from Mud Puppy. I've never done a Mud Puppy jigsaw puzzle before, but for some reason in my mind, are they associated with Gallison or is that just me? I have no idea. I, I don't know why I feel that Mud Puppy is somehow associated with Gallison but I could be totally making that up. This is a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle and it's called Fly Traps and Other Carnivorous Plants. I thought this would be really cool because once I build it, there's actually all the names of the various plants already on the jigsaw puzzle. So I can do some research and chat about these various plants. To tell you the truth, I didn't know there were that many like carnivorous plants out there. But according to this, there's quite a few displayed on this jigsaw puzzle. So I thought this would be lots of fun. Does it actually have, it's illustration, illustrated by Natasha Durley. So that's the artist. So there you go, 500 pieces from Mud Puppy. The next jigsaw puzzle is also a new brand to me, Aquarius. Now I've taken off the plastic wraps. I can't actually remember if this one came in plastic wrap or not, just um, so that you don't have too much glare on the camera, but I can tell just by holding this box, it is quite shiny, so sorry about that. This not only is my first Aquarius jigsaw puzzle, it's my first illustration by Dean Russo. I know they're like the dog, dog is love jigsaw puzzle. That one's gorgeous. This one is called Love is Power. I had to look it up again because it's not actually written on the box, the name of the jigsaw puzzle. So another 500 pieces, not too big. I think I'm gonna build this one later on after I show you the rest of the jigsaw puzzles. So my first Aquarius jigsaw puzzle, never heard of that brand before, and my first Dean Russo illustration. I think it's gonna be lots of fun to do. Now, it may surprise you to find out that this is the first Cobble Hill jigsaw puzzle that I've purchased. I've done one previously with some friends, and the only thing I remember, I believe it has wonky donkey shapes. I think, but yeah, um, I like a lot of their illustrations, but I was trying to find something that I would enjoy doing on the channel, something a bit different, something that I haven't seen other people do. And this, this image popped up and I was like, I've never seen that before. So it's a thousand pieces and it's called Through Swirly Railings. It's from 2021 and the artist is Joanne Yellen. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. I think this will probably be a little tricky. It's quite like busy. It almost feels stained glassy with all the cuts in it, the lines, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. I have no idea what I'm going to discuss during the time lapse. Perhaps you have some ideas, leave your comments below. I'm actually just seeing on the side of the box now, it says poster inside. Oh, you know that, I mean, look at this. Big, beautiful image, poster included, lots of fun. That's really cool because if you're puzzling with other people, that's great. Also, what I notice is the Mud Puppy one, the image on the front of the box, a bit small, but it is 500 pieces. There is a full image on the back of the box, as well as the Aquarius one, there's another full image on the back of the box as well. So you could always have multiple copies of the image if you're puzzling with someone else. But yeah, my first to me, Cobble Hill jigsaw puzzle. I can't believe I haven't really bought one before now, but I'm excited to do it. Now, am I mistaking or is Cobble Hill, it's a Canadian brand from Victoria. It does say it's made in the US. But yeah, I can't wait to do this and I do think the image will be a bit of a challenge, but if you have some ideas of what I should discuss during the voiceover, leave them down below. This jigsaw puzzle is the reason why I had to go shopping. I needed to find one with an Eastern rock hopper penguin on it. Now I'm not sure if this is an exact depiction of one or a close relative, but it's the best I could find. It's from the Holdson brand, which is a New Zealand company. It's from their Treasures of Aotearoa series. Aotearoa is the Maori name for New Zealand, and this particular jigsaw puzzle is called Penguin Pride from the artist Ned Barrow. It's a smaller jigsaw puzzle, just 300 pieces. 
It is extra large pieces, so they'll be nice and big. But basically at the end of October, I'll release a video and I will be assembling this jigsaw puzzle and I'll tell you all about New Zealand's bird of the year. Actually this year, because Forest and Bird are celebrating their 100th birthday, they're looking for the bird of the century. And I've been asked to help promote the Eastern Rockhopper Penguin. So I'm hoping you all come back at the end of October when that video is posted and I'll let you know how you can get involved by voting for New Zealand's bird of the century. So let's go ahead and grab the Aquarius Jigsaw Puzzle. We'll change my camera angle, we'll get a top-down view, we'll look at the box and the pieces inside, and I'll assemble my first Dean Russo illustration from the brand Aquarius. So here's the box, and it's rather small. It's a bit smaller, but it is a 500-piece puzzle, so I don't mind that so much. The image may be smaller than some other images for a 500-piece puzzle, but I do think this is an easier image, at least for me. I love the color gradient. And so hopefully it won't be too difficult. Um, it just says Dean Russo right there. I thought his name was like he was a doctor, Dr. Dean Russo, but I believe the DR is just his initials and that's his signature. Aquarius, the company, 500 pieces. This is approximately 35 centimeters by 48 centimeters. I do believe it'll be a portrait shape. Oh, it looks so much fun, power, no, sorry, Love is Power. That's the name of the puzzle. I had to go look it up again because it's not written anywhere on the box that I can find. I wish puzzle companies would always write the artist and the name of the jigsaw puzzle. I love that it says here 100% officially licensed. And Aquarius, if you open the box here, on the side it says questions or comments, um, they have their Instagram, Twitter handle, or I guess is it X handle now? I don't know. But they must be from NMR Brands because that's the website, nmrbrands.com. The box inside, why do, I wonder why they put these? I mean, is it so the bag doesn't like shift around so much? I've seen a few puzzle companies use these, but I don't quite get the purpose of them for a jigsaw puzzle. So now let's open the pieces. I see a few connected right there on top, but look, oh, quite a few, another, they're wonky donkey pieces. No puzzle dust on the bottom of the box. Let's open this up. Oh. Of course, there we go. A lot of pieces still connected, I believe, but wonky donkey shapes, can you see that? Now can, oh, they're easily separated. Okay, those two easily separated. Another, oh, those are connected at uh, the join. I'll leave those connected. So maybe not the best cut through. Oh, a lot of pieces. There's another one. Oh, that's not a good start. Yeah, I'll show those, those connected. Those are, that's what, four now? Cause I've already, a lot of them, oh, look at that. Unfortunately, it looks like, and I guess I could pull them apart. I just want to show you how many I find. So, you know, that's four. Oh, five. This is now five, because remember, there's one I did already separate. Five. My goodness. Okay, this, okay, those two came apart easily. There was that other. Okay, that's, oh, that one's a bit more sticky. They're actually quite solidly connected at the join there in the corner. Okay, this is not very well cut through at the corners. Look, these two are even separated, but still connected. Uh, okay, the pieces may be a bit thin. Um, I'm not familiar with Aquarius brand, so this is my first time, but okay, this is an excessive number of pieces still connected. You know, there's another one just hanging on. I mean, I can maybe separate them easy enough, but it seems like that's a lot more than I would expect, especially for a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle. Just going through and maybe let's see if they will. Here's another pair. Oh, those are, yeah, you know, another one. So that was quite a few, quite a few just, but overall, I mean, okay, pulled them apart. One, two, three, four, five, six. They came apart, seven. Oh, that one, eight, yeah, 
nine and the original one 10. So I found 10 pairs of still connected, but it looks like it's like at the corners. I mean, oh, wait, wait. Is this a wonky donk? Wait, I saw it, I saw it. There's a wonky donkey piece, a whimsy piece, a whimsy piece. It's, it looks like, um, like maybe a planet with rings, Saturn. <gasps> okay, all might be forgiven. Look at that, how cute is that? I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, not the best maybe cut through. Oh, here's another one, 11, we're up to 11. But the, actually that came up, we won't count that one. That one came apart quite easily. The colors look nice and vibrant. I can't wait to do this. Some vibrant colors. The shapes are all kind of cool and funky. Look at that, nice colors. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Ah, here's another one. These are border pieces. Well, they, they separated. They separated easy enough. They weren't connected. But yeah, it's the kind of thing that once you do the puzzle once, and then hopefully when I disassemble it, hopefully it'll come apart easily that the pieces won't stick. So then when I pass it on to the next person, they wouldn't even know that so many pieces were joined. They did separate pretty easy enough. There was maybe one that was a bit more stuck together. I'm trying to look for any more whimsy pieces. Definitely, definitely cool, funky cut shapes though. That actually might go, well that, oh, there's gotta be more wonky donkey pieces in here. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. But yeah, I did get it on sale, so it wasn't that expensive. It was 15 New Zealand dollars. I know maybe some of you out there are like, $15 for a 500 piece puzzle? I thought that was a steal. <laughs> so yeah, let's just jump right in. And during the voiceover, what can we talk about? I'll find some information on Dean Russo. And if that doesn't cover enough in, uh, information during the voiceover, maybe we can talk about, oh, just rainbows. How are rainbows formed? I mean, I guess we all kind of already know, but it could be fun still to recap. Border pieces. Yeah, so there you go. Let's get to building my first Dean Russo Aquarius brand jigsaw puzzle. Dean Russo is an American painter born in 1966 in Brooklyn, New York. As a child, he was encouraged to make art and he enjoyed creating and drawing cartoon characters. He studied graphic design and fine arts at the Pratt Institute in New York. He began his life as an artist by painting celebrity portraits but he transitioned to painting animals. He is probably best known for his street art inspired portraits of animals, and he always begins his paintings of animals with the eyes. He has exhibited in the United States and Australia. His work follows the pattern of construct, deconstruct, and reconstruct, and uses layering to break down an image, allowing key elements to show through. Russo has always been fascinated with the question of, what are other people thinking? And captures these stories through art. He uses layers of acrylic and spray paints, sands and scratches, allowing the viewer to see through the surface. His style is heavily influenced by graffiti, street art, and the pop art movement. And here's a little fun fact about him. He is a keen musician, and he started to pursue a music career before he became a full-time artist. A rainbow is an optical phenomenon. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> How many of you listen to the voiceovers? I'm gonna, you know what? I'm leaving that in. A rainbow is an optical phenomenon caused by refraction, internal reflection, and dispersion of light in water droplets, resulting in a continuous spectrum of light appearing in the sky. The rainbow takes the form of a multicolored circular arc. Rainbows caused by sunlight always appear in the section of the sky directly opposite the sun. Rainbows can be full circles, and fun fact, I've actually seen a full circle rainbow from an airplane. It was pretty amazing. The observer normally sees only an arc, though, formed by illuminated droplets above the ground. In a primary rainbow, the arc shows red on the outer part and violet on the inner side. This rainbow is caused by light being refracted when entering the water droplet, then reflected inside on the back of the droplet, 
and refract it again when leaving it. The colors on the primary rainbow are always in order of their wavelength from longest to shortest. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. In a double rainbow, a second arc is seen outside the primary one and has the order of its colors reversed with red on the inner side of the arc and violet on the outer side. This is caused by the light being reflected twice on the inside of the droplet before leaving it. I really enjoyed this jigsaw puzzle. I was worried that the pieces would be a little uh, iffy, but actually no, it was fine. Once I separated those 10 or 11 that were stuck together at the corner, everything assembled nicely. And I actually tried to disassemble it just to see if pieces were stuck, but no, it disassembled fine. Any wonky donkey cut jigsaw puzzle, um, it's a bit trickier sometimes to disassemble them just because the connections are not typical, but overall, easy to build, easy to disassemble, and it actually stayed together when I tried picking it up. The only piece that didn't stay together was this little whimsy piece, the little Saturn piece. Um, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a Saturn or a planet. This is where I need your information. Um, do Aquarius jigsaw puzzles come with one whimsy piece of a... Uh, a planet? Is Saturn related to Aquarius at all? I have no idea. Or is it uh, a Dean Russo thing? Is there always a whimsy piece in one of his illustrations as a jigsaw puzzle? I do not know. If you know, leave your comments below. But I really enjoyed it. It was lots of fun to build. And even though the image was small, it was easy just because of the color and the variation and it wasn't so big. So I would definitely like to do more of Dean Russo's illustrations and jigsaw puzzles. And I would buy more Aquarius puzzles as well. It was lots of fun. And I just took the day to do it. It didn't take that long. Um, I had to break up the day taking Thor to the vet because she broke a dew claw. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get ready to go to Spain. And of course, what does she do? She breaks a dew claw. But she is one tough cookie. She, she took it so well and she was so brave and wonderful at the vet, so easy to handle. It's healing perfectly, no issues. So I'm really pleased, but yeah. Oh, so I managed to get Thora to the vet, get her dew claw sorted and build a jigsaw puzzle all in one day. So that's pretty, pretty good. So I'm so excited. I'm in Spain right now, so if I don't reply to all your comments, that's the reason why, but please still leave your comments below. I will try to read them all, and definitely come back the end of October when you see me post a video about the New Zealand bird of the year, and we'll try to get as many votes as we can for the Eastern Rockhopper Penguin. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing, and until next time, Ciao!